In this video, we'll see how to stream on a DeCast Live channel using the OBS Studio Encoder. I'm in the Live Channels section of my DeCast account. I can stream on one of my existing channels, or I can create a new channel. In this example, I'll stream on this HTML5 channel. I'll open this channel and go to the Encoder Setup section to download the DeCast customized version of OBS Studio. This free encoder enables a very quick and easy setup for my live channel. I'll click on the download link that matches my device and launch OBS after installation. The first step is to add the stream source to OBS. I'll click the plus icon under Sources and choose Video Capture Device. I'll choose Create New, change the source name to Webcam, and click OK. My webcam appears in this list, and I'll click OK to add it. In the preview window, I can size and position the webcam window. To demonstrate how multiple sources can be streamed at once, I'll also add a color source. I'll click Create New again, call this Red Background, and click OK. I'll click here to select the color, choose Red, and click OK. I'll click OK again to close. Both sources now appear in the preview window. I'll move the red background below the video stream and resize the background. I can turn sources on and off by clicking their eye icon, and I could delete either one with the minus sign. Next, I'll open OBS settings by clicking here. On the left, I'll open the stream settings. I should see Decast as the stream type, but if not, I can choose it from this list. The OBS encoder key is how I link OBS to DeCast, and I can get this key back in my DeCast account. On the left, I'll open Preferences, then Encoder Keys. OBS Studio is first on this list. I have a key already listed, but if not, I could create one by clicking Regenerate. I'll select this key and copy it. Returning to OBS, I'll paste the key here. Now when I click Refresh List of Channels, I can click the Channel List drop-down to see my DeCast Live channels. I'll choose the Webcam channel. To change my streaming quality settings, I'll open the Output Settings. The default output mode is simple, which we recommend because these settings work just fine in most cases. I can change the video bitrate here and the audio bitrate here. Make sure that the sum of your audio bitrate plus video bitrate is no more than half of your upload speed. You can test your internet connection speed by going to the website testmy.net. The bitrate for standard definition is between 1000 and 1200, high def is 1900 to 2000, and for full HD at 1080p, I'll need to go up to 4500. Even though we recommend the simple output mode, if you have a good understanding of all the various streaming options, you can switch the output mode to advanced. If you use this mode, be sure to keep the keyframe interval set to 2 seconds. I'll go back to Simple Output and click OK to close the settings. Then I'll click here to start streaming. The green light and time counter tell me that everything looks good. I'll return to DeCast, go back to Live Channels, and open Webcam. I'll click Preview to make sure the stream is working correctly. To share the stream with my viewers, I'll go to Publish Settings. I could use the Embed JS or iframe code to embed in a web page, or I can use either of these identical share codes to view my stream in a web browser. If you have any questions about live streaming using OBS Studio or any other encoder, please check out our knowledge base, or contact us 24-7 by chat.